Welcome back to Eripedia World. Today we will start a new concept. We will discuss what is known as the atomic structure. We will see the basic idea about atomic structure. What is atomic structure? What is the basic formation of an atom? What are the components of an atom? Then we will see what is uh, known as the atomic number or uh, Z and atomic mass or A. And finally, we will conclude the lecture by studying about uh, three different terminologies, isotope, isobar and isotone. So, let us start our discussion on atomic structure. Towards the end of the 19th century, G.G. Uh, Thompson found out uh, the existence of electrons. After that, uh, Rutherford in his uh, famous uh, scattering experiment found out the existence of nucleus. This works and uh, work from other scientists led us to the understanding of the atomic structure. So let us see what is the atomic structure. The present knowledge of the atomic structure says that uh, an atom consists of a central nucleus okay so there is a nucleus at the center and this nucleus has two things one is proton and another is neutron and surrounding the nucleus are orbitals on which electrons move so there are orbits like this and the electrons revolve in these orbits okay so let me write down the convention atom has a nucleus which has proton denoted by P and neutron denoted by an N then beyond the nucleus we have the shells which have electron okay now the shells are uh, marked from its proximity to the nucleus so this is my first shell this is second shell there will be a third shell and the first shell is named as K the shell K 2 is L, 3 is M and so on and so forth. Okay? Now depending on which shell we are talking about, that shell can accommodate a particular number of electrons. So the first shell has 2 electrons, second has 8 third can have a maximum of 18, fourth can have a maximum of 32 and so on. So if you observe the number of electrons that can exist in a particular shell, you will notice that this is equal to 2 times n square where n is the orbit number or the shell number. So for the first orbit n is 1 and we get uh, the number of maximum electrons 2. For 2 it is 2 into 2 to power 2 that is 8, 3 it's 2 into 10, 3 to power 2 that is 18 and so on. Okay, so now you have an idea about the distribution of the different subatomic particles in an atom. So what is the size of an atom? What is the range of size of an atom? An atom normally is in the order of from the center to the outermost shell it is around 10 to power minus 10 meter. Okay, so the exact size will depend on how many shells are there but the order of size of uh, an atom is this. Fine. Next thing that you need to know is that the electrons are much more lighter than protons or neutrons. The weight of an electron is 
around 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg whereas the weight of a proton and a neutron protons and neutrons are approximately 1.67 into 10 power minus 27 kg they both uh, vary slightly but uh, roughly they are this much so what we can see is it's like 10 to the power 4 orders of magnitude heavier than the electron isn't it okay now let us see in details what is the relation uh, how is the nucleus arranged so the nucleus as we saw has proton and neutron and as we can see from the mass of the electron proton and neutron that most of the mass is concentrated in the nucleus okay so nucleus is basically the mass center of an atom electrons are the light particles which orbit the mass center now what is the dimension of the nucleus let me write it down size of new nucleus is around 10 power minus 14 to 10 power minus 15 meter so it's roughly 10 per my uh, 5 orders smaller than the atom okay so the complete mass of the electron uh, rather the complete mass of the atom is focused in a very small area at the center okay now let us see what are the charges of each of them neutron are neutral they do not have any charge protons are positively charged and how much positively charged each proton is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb whereas each electron is an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb so we see that the charge of the proton and the electron are equal in magnitude and op and opposite in direction okay and uh, a matter of fact is that atom is electrically neutral right therefore the net charge of an atom is zero therefore the number of electrons should be equal to number of protons to maintain the electrical neu neutrality right because both have same charge and uh, opposite in di uh, ma same magnitude and opposite in the sense of the charge so in an atom number of proton is equal to number of electron this has to be true for an atom to be neutral and this uh, number of proton equal to number of neutron uh, electron is known as the atomic number atomic number so atomic number is basically equal to the number of protons in an atom there is something known as the mass number one thing to note atomic number is denoted by a z or a z mass number mass number is equal to total number of proton plus neutron so the total number of particles within the nucleus is known as the mass number why so because number of uh, the proton and neutron has almost similar mass and uh, they have a much larger mass than the electron therefore the total mass of the nucleus is roughly equal to the total mass of the atom and th that manifests itself as the sum total of the number of proton and neutron 
protons and neutrons together are known as nucleons nucleons so alternatively what you can see about mass number is it is the total number of nucleons in an atom okay so now we have an idea about the subatomic particles their mass nature their charge nature and uh, we have see, seen the concept of shells of electron we have also seen the atomic number is represented by z z the mass number is represented by a a okay any particular atom is represented in terms of its atomic number and mass number in this way let's say the symbol of the element is x then the atomic number is written here z and the at mass number is written here as a okay so this represents my complete configuration of an atom an example of this representation would be uh, let's say take hydrogen for example hydrogen has one proton therefore its atomic number is one and it has zero neutron right so that atomic mass will also be equal to one another example would be sodium sodium has is symbol is na and the number of protons is 12 uh, rather 11 so the number of proton or the number of electron is 11 and the number of nucleons is 23 what this means is the number of neutrons will be a minus z so the number of neutrons will be 23 minus 11 that is 12 for hydrogen the number of neutrons was 1 minus 1 that is 0 okay so here we see how the atom is represented in terms of atomic number and mass number fine now an atom can undergo two types of reaction one is on the scale of the electrons those are the chemical reactions if electrons are interchanged then chemical reaction takes place and the energy related is in the order of electron volt but if the neutron comes into picture if the neutron takes part in the reaction then the type of reaction involves nuclear changes and much higher energy is uh, released or required in the order of mega electron volt so nuclear reactions energy requirement is 10 to power 6 orders of magnitude larger than a simple chemical reaction okay with this background let us now see three terminologies one is known as isotope second is known as isobar and finally isotone so let us discuss each of them separately isotope so isotope are atoms belonging to same element which has same atomic number since they belong to same element but they have different mass numbers so same z different a and this belongs to the same element okay so in isotope normally uh, what will, uh, you will observe is that the number of proton and number of electrons are the same since the z is same but the a for the a to be different the number of neutrons has to be different in the two cases let's discuss an example of an isotope an example of an isotope would be there are three isotopes of hydrogen let's say hydrogen 1 1 the normal hydrogen then what is known as deuterium which is hydrogen 1 2 and uh, finally what we have known as tritrium which is hydrogen H13 so in the first case we have one electron 
and one proton and zero neutron. Second case, we have one electron, one proton and one neutron. Third case, one electron, one proton and two neutrons. So we see that the number of electron and number of proton are the same. The number of neutrons changes. Okay. Uh, so depending on uh, the number of neutrons present, either uh, atom can be stable isotope or an unstable isotope. So the most stable state for hydrogen isotope is hydrogen 1,1. One, one. And these are unstable states of hydrogen. So these are unstable isotopes. Another example for the sake of uh, completion is chlorine. Chlorine is atomic number is 17 but the mass number can either be 35 or chlorine 37. This is the more stable state, this is the less stable state. Okay, next let us see what is known as isobar. Isobars. Isobars have uh, different Z, different Z, same A. Since the Z is different, so obviously they are different elements, different elements. So isobar has different number of uh, electron and proton rather two isobars will have different number of electron or alternatively different number of proton but their number of nucleons will be same that is the sum of proton and neutron will be same an example of an isobar would be sodium 1123 and manganese 12.23 so here what we see is that we have different z one has 11 the number of uh, proton or electrons one has 12 but the atomic number is same 23 for both the cases so these are called as isobars okay and finally, we have something which is known as isotones. Isotones. What is an isotone? An isotone will have different number of proton. So different Z, but same number of neutron. Same A minus Z or same neutron number okay so isotone will have different z but same number of neutrons and obviously since the z is different this belongs to different elements an example of isotone would be sodium 1123 and uh, magnesium 1224. Here what you see is that the Z is different. Here it is 11, here it is 12. But A minus Z, that is number of neutrons, is 12 in this case as well as in this case. So these two are isotopes. Okay? So this gives you a, a brief idea about the whole concept of atomic structure, the different components of an atom, what uh, does the atomic mass mean, what does mass number mean, uh, what does atomic number mean, what are isotope, isotones and isobars. Okay, with this background the next class we will start studying about radioactivity.